Greetings one and all and welcome back to the channel. It's been a few weeks, I've had a bit of a summer lay over and now I'm back to continue with where we left off. So first things first, let's do a quick recap of where we were when we left off last time. We'd established a new line through to get some bricks to our little depot here so we can spread them out. We've currently got them going by truck by uh, this little area here off to Carlsbad. The main station supplies Reno. In fact, let me just pull the details up there. There we are. So we've got Elk Grove, which, as you can remember, is around the corner there a little bit. Give Elk Grove a wave. We've got Fremont over here. Reno sitting up there and Carlsbad our main city down here being fed by trucks. So three main freight drops going off to the three cities other than Carlsbad. Coming in we've got our construction materials drop, we've got the cow and food yo-yo going back and forth and we've got the fuel delivery from the main supply down the bottom there. So I'll just pull out a little and close off the station there. As you can see here is the fuel and oil which is being brought in. Food gets processed over there and it's picked up from this farm here which is why I've got the train station central there. And then we've now also got Anaheim into the loop and Anaheim is being supplied down this line to this station and we've got three small truck stops there, truck depots, just gently running a little bit of food, fuel and construction materials in there. Here is the main construction material loop, basically train comes back and forth carrying stone, getting that crushed up and put into construction materials, two way station so as the little train topples backwards and forwards that way the main branch line goes out through here, connects up to a four lane stretch as it goes up and along and round into the main station there. So that's the layout as we had it. Things were going quite well. If we have a quick look at the routes that we have on the system here, let's have a look. Right, so we're showing all. Uh, trains first. A couple of them still not making a lot of money. This one especially because it's got a long run through to Anaheim there and we only started it really in the last episode. Fremont and Reno will be picking up shortly as I'll be making some changes to all of the three main freight delivery drops just to give them enough information, uh, food, construction materials and of course Fuel. Right, coach wise, oh, I beg your pardon, not coaches. We've got trucks, as I like to call them, or wagons in this day and age. They go back and forth, dropping off the bits and pieces. The yellows are the internal city exchanges where train or truck drops stuff off from one depot and then it's moved internally to another one. So when we have a, a depot which is in an area where it's commercial and then stuff is taken from the commercial district to the industrial district and dropped off there. The other small ones we've got of course are Carlsbad which has got its main delivery of construction materials and we've got Anaheim fuel drop and food drop and this construction material drop as well. They all pick up uh, the other side. So that's roughly where we were. If we see how we're doing here, we've got 17.7 million, so not bad. And if we do check the lines in question, there's only a couple of them that are losing us money. Uh, obviously, the Anaheim fuel is the biggest culprit at the moment, but it's only been running a year, needs a little bit of time. 
most of the other lines are running into profit and we'll be doing a little bit more over the next few episodes to bring them all in line uh, apologies as well for the voice i'm just getting over one of those horrible winter colds and it's got me a little bit on the uh, low side shall we say right last time we looked at this we were planning on getting a little freight system i beg your pardon a passenger system set up for fremont all the way down to El Grove and it had been coupling Rhino's suggestion to get a passenger system in as quickly as possible because if we don't once people get their own transport they'll just completely ignore mine so we start them off on training wheels or in this case training paddles and get them involved so today's episode will be setting up the infrastructure to docks or ports both terminals will have passenger transport facilities on them. We'll build the infrastructure in each of the two towns and we'll have trams running up to various stops and then bringing people down to the passenger dock where they can go back and forth with a couple of boats just to get the frequency going. So without further ado and rabbiting on, we'll get started in that. There we go. Well, Grove, not a bad little place to get started. I had a look at this offline to see which would be probably the best way to do it. And by far the easiest method I've seen is to simply look at the road situation, pick up a medium street, extend this down just over the edge of the railway lines there. It's fine just to get it started and we want to try and keep it going nice and straight but we don't want to bring it too far down because the dock itself is going to fit in this is going to be one of the main avenues that we use for bringing people to it so the first of our docks this is your standard dock that is provided by transport fever as you can see just a little bit of movement gets you where you need to be. I'm trying to keep it fairly in line with the road and also keeping it as far out into the water as possible to allow the ship's maximum clearance. Now, I'm only leaving it as a single dock at the moment. I don't think it needs anything else. However, with anything in this game, you can never be too careful. So you've always got to leave the possibility for expansion right let's quickly pop up to this side now Fremont is going to have two docks eventually passenger dock is going to be here and I'm going to put a freight dock here linking up this station as extra bits and pieces come down here they'll be taken by boat and we'll get Mesa online but that's for future episodes in the meantime we just simply want to get this dock in place and ready to go and again because the road is so close we just need to do the opposite with this one We've got a bit of catchment there the main thing I'm trying to do because it's a narrow channel is to get this as close up to land as possible leaving as much of the channel available down here because you only get a certain amount of green thoroughfare and where it narrows here, you will see the lines when I connect the passenger route up probably diverge or worse still even cross. But because of the collision system within the game, we haven't got to worry too much about the ships. Aesthetically, it's not the best, but it does the job required. So we'll set the first line up. There we go. I'm not quite happy with that as a nautical colour. Uh, I think we'll go for a nice dark blue. And we'll just give it a, a name of Elk Grove. And that's coming up to Fremont. It's fine. Right, just pop him over here. So let's grab that as the first port of call. And that is the second. 
yeah this is what I was expecting as you can see the lines virtually merge there so as the ships come down this way any ship coming up here in this area when they meet they literally pass right through each other so we've got the line in that's pretty straightforward we'll get a dock in as well and I want to get this dock into some fairly deep water and you can see deep here shallower there although technically it's all supposed to be the same right and this is where we get our dock from I don't have a great deal of mods in the game being a GOG player I'm quite heavily penalized in that respect this is odd it doesn't usually do that right let's try down there we go up the wrong way around down okay right Oh, having a snap problem here. I think the shift key is going to come into play. Or it could be just the terrain itself. Let's just quickly turn that round. See if we can figure out what's causing this little glitch. Yeah, let's keep it quiet. That's not too bad. Pop them there because we know he's going to be in without any problem. Now, I'm not actually going to place the boats on there yet. What I am planning on doing because I'm aware it's January now and in 1870 I've got a an addition coming on with the vehicles 1871 and 1872 also bring further vehicles which will benefit this little shipping line for passengers so I'm just going to start the game let it run on that will earn us a little bit of cash and while it's doing that I'll build the infrastructure for each of these so let's start with Fremont we're going to need a large bus and tram station and I'm going to jam that in as tight as I possibly can I've just had the new patch installed so I don't know whether that's causing any funny goings on with regards to the snap there okay I did mention that we were going to use trams, so I'll get a tram depot next. I want to make absolutely sure that we get all of the right equipment. So there's the standard road depot. Got one of them in already over here. Get a tram depot and we'll just put him right alongside. Now he's a little way from the road, but that's not a problem. I'll just get out a large street and connect them up. Now we've got to get the little highlighter one there. That gets us to convert all of the area into tram tracks, which we're going to need. And I've already planned out roughly where the routes are going to be. So we'll make sure that's got tram tracks on it. That has, that has, and that has. So yeah, fairly straightforward access. Right, first one, we're going to have them come up here. Go along there and finish there so that's going to be route number one pretty straightforward picking up the bits and pieces that we need second route coming along here we'll bring this one right the way along down the end street and we'll join it all the way up there and finally third route is going to go up here and pick these up now I don't want that route crowding too much and I really don't want this route crowding too much so this would seem to be the ideal way of getting a tram that's far too long I just wanted a short piece so I'll hit the shift key and there it's in right a few warnings there that my road vehicles are now starting to get quite old but that's okay as I mentioned I'm expecting some new additions in 1870, 1871, 1872. So I'll run the expense of the roads. Might as well just pop that pin in there, you never know. Just to make sure. So we've now got three routes that we're gonna put trams on. We've got our tram depot, we've got our tram stop. We just need now to fit in the relevant seats. So over there, passengers, bus and tram stops. All right, so first things first, we go right up the top here. And as everything tends to travel on the right-hand side, 
we'll insert a tram stop there and a tram stop there. That just gives us the basic pattern to go along there and up there. But nothing stopping us doing the crossroads as well. So one there, one there. And that should be absolutely fine. Let's get that route in place. And it's an internal city route, so we make that a nice light blue colour. Uh, give it the station first of all, and then zoom in a little bit. This station, this station, this station, that station, and then you should come straight back. That's fine. So we've got Fremont Tram one yep very original naming on my games nothing really complex about it yeah, so a little warning again we'll ignore that because we know 2000 or 2000 i'm dashing ahead a couple of years there 1870 we should have some decent stuff so we've got one line in and now we go for the second one line manager two again give a nice color We want tram two, and he's going from here as well. This time, oh, hang on, we're getting ahead of ourselves there. I'm putting a line in, I don't even have any stops in. Shocking, right? Back to there, stops, right? So, we're gonna have there and there, we're gonna have this corner here. And then finally, I'm just going to stop short of there so I don't get it tangled up with anything else. Right, now that that's in, we can do the line and we should have a spare line that I started to create. There it is there. And we'll just get that put in position. So once again, let's tell it we're going from that port and we know it will head down the right hand side so we'll tell it to go to that bus stop following that one then that one and that one and then coming back to that one and finally to that one that's interesting it's seeing that the ah, uh, I think I may have clicked the dock inadvertently. Right, okay, let's just rip all these off. And this time, hopefully, click the right part. Okay, let's save the compatible now. So, that one, yeah, we go. That one, that one turn around there we go this happened before when I was doing it it's for some reason it seems to want to go into a freight station which is a little odd because there's not a lot there for it to pick up Bring it back there I'll correct that in a second when I locate the remaining bus stop that's it there okay so we're just gonna to have to relocate two of these bus stops because of that station right so they've gone we're gonna go back into bus stops pick up that and this time we'll move them a little further down and once again it is joining up into there which is not what we wanted to do really now that's a problem I'm gonna to have to iron out very shortly I don't know why it's continuing to go into the freight depot there it's not part of its route All right, just continue on and finish off the last route so we'll put a few bus stops in there 
So we know this one's coming up here. This could be interesting going past here. We'll put a stop there and a stop there. We'll ask it to stop on that corner as well. And then finally, all the way up here. We'll connect the line. Give it its color coding and its name. We want tram three. And we go and tell it where it needs to go. So this time make sure I get a good connection with that. And we don't want it to stop there, we want it to stop here first of all. It'll go on the right hand side. So that's there. And then we want it to go to here. And then to here and here. here and finally here so it's gotten the idea and it will run the correct route for us so that's Fremont in there the only problem we've got is the little run round inside of there I think moving these bus stops may make all the difference let's just see what happens so i take that one in that in that go back into bus stops this time push me look and extend right out over to there go back into the line manager fremont tram 2 now who knew eh? is it actually going in there now no it's not it's left it alone right that's fine strange little quirk of the game which i am not quite sure why it happens but it does so we've now got fremont tooled up with three routes one port one tram station and all the road layout as well got all the catchment in we'll just rinse and repeat with elk grove again very straightforward job first things first terminus let's get him in and lined up Without any terrain, terrain collisions. I'll try that one again. <laughs> terrain collisions. Pop him in there, and we'll get the tram station available. It's selected it automatically. That's excellent. Zoom in a little bit there. Right, that's not a very nice line. So we will just smooth this in to the side there. And give it a slightly funky shape to go on. All right, take that. And this time we'll get the trammed up areas pretty quick. It's okay, it's already got half of what it needs. We'll just do the bus route, make sure that's fine. So first things first, main street. Ah, there we go. Let me just pause that for a second. This Pennsylvania Hopper is a nice little mod I've downloaded and added to my version of the game. It's basically for carrying stone and such like. It gives a few more than the standard transport favor vehicles and allows any wagons you've got set for slag, for stone, things like that, just to be a little bit more productive. And I'll be altering one of my trains very short so let's just continue on with this there we go we've got that route all the way up there so that's the first tram route there as you can probably imagine we're going to need one coming this way as well and that's going to be running right past that area there we'll pull him up there as well so that's going to carry me right way to the end of the track there and finally we get a tram route going from here all the way up there so we've got all of the tram routes in that we need again it's just a case of now fitting in the required bus stops so we know we're going to have a stop here 
we might as well have our first port of call and the town there and then we'll have a one right on the corner of Main Street and then one right at the top it's fine then we need stops here and here I'll have another set in fact we'll put these down below to there and be able to come back through there that's fine and then finally this is a bit of an odd one because it's going past the real depot and not really picking up a great lot we will put a stop here and here which is a bit of catchment over there and stops here and here which should bring in catchment from there so a couple of short runs and the rest all straight forward it's interesting why that hasn't gone tram as well and maybe because i've missed some tram tracks out okay let's have a look yeah i've got that in the wrong place my mistake so we'll go back to fitting tram tracks we'll just light that up and give it the option so it can go around here but we'll also make sure it goes there instead I think the catchment there should provide enough colour for that. Okay, all the trams tracks laid out there now. We've got facilities there, I've got that there. So that's looking absolutely fine. We just need the routes for Elk Grove there. So we'll click on that. Once again, nice light blue, and it's Elk Grove. Tram one. I'll just leave that out there for now. Leave that one down there. Right, so Elk Grove Tram One is going to be the main street. So we'll start on there, and then come to here, up to there, onto there, bypass that, and then onto there. And then in the bus stop so that's absolutely fine running really well exactly what we want running right up main street to bring everybody down next line that we'll put in again following the same pattern tram two this time Oh, capital R in Elk Grove. Right, and this is again another straightforward one, so we'll select the station. And this time we're going to go and bend it round a little bit into there. And it wants to go into there, but we're going to open change that up to there, onto that, down to there and then straight back into the station so that's Elk Grove tram 2 taken care of and the final one tram 3 this one's just going straight across to the right hand side so we'll new auto save feature working very handy especially when you pause and chat as much as I do so we'll start in here and we'll tell it there's your first port of call second third fourth and you should behave yourself and come all the way back down in fact it is passing Two stops we might as well just double up on those and help it get to where it needs to be nope it's already got them so let's just delete that there we go so it's picked up the routes we have three of them in there and that's again all ready for the trams to join in
Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Now go up tram three. Yeah, that's fine. I need to shut that one down. Shut that one down. Turn him off. And we just look at three now. Bit narrow, but he'll get there. Right, so we've now got basically everything exactly where we needed it. We just need to start pre-assigning the vehicles ready to go. So in here, we will go and buy a tram, just a standard horse tram. I'll give them a nice colour to match. Say buy. We'll set his line on. Elk Grove tram line one and then again buy another one set line tram two buy a third set line tram three so that's Elk Grove with three starter trams and the same can be set up here at Fremont tram depot Double check that I've made everything trammable. Yes, I have. Buy a tram. Let's just move that over here. Buy the first one. Set line. Fremont tram one. And what did we forget to do? Set its colour. That's fine. So we'll buy another tram. Set this one to Fremont Tram 2, buy another one, set line all, Fremont Tram 3. So I think I've got a bit of a colour change to do there with regards to the one of the trams of Fremont. We now get the ships involved, and because the depot is already here, buy ships, and we'll start with two. Here we have our standard passenger line, it only does 14 miles per hour a little riggy but it'll get things going until new ships become available and it'll start helping build the city infrastructure so there's our little riggy we're going to buy two of him but we're going to color in that nice naval theme that i've already got i don't really have ships take colors we'll set line all elk grove to fremont so it knows automatically to put the ships one would hope going the correct directions we'll just check and make sure clear water all the way through so that's it everything's ready to go on the lines we've got all the shipping ready all the trams ready and all the tram stops we're now going to go over to my little shuttle line here for fuel i beg your pardon for stone and whatnot here we have a wagon transferring back with the trains. This is a basic one. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is pretty standard. That I set up 56 of those, and I think that's pretty low. So we're going to go for a replacement vehicle. And it's the same, the general. That's the only one I've got available at the moment. We'll add him. But now the Pennsylvania hoppers are available. It's a little lighter than a gondola. But where the gondola only carries seven, this carries 12. Now, I could slam eight on there, but when because it carries 12, when it's fully loaded, it slows the train down uh, considerably. So although I put less on, I still end up carrying more just to try and maintain the train speed so we'll just simply see a pencil be in your hopper and we'll add six so that's two less than I was pulling but it's now instead of 56 pulling 66 so it's a little better using the same locomotive and as soon as yeah 3.2 mil that's fine as soon as a new train locomotive becomes available with a little bit more power 
I'll be replacing that. And as this is kind of like the only line I've got at the moment for shipping stone, we'll leave it as is. When my next locomotive comes along, I'll be adding a second train and upgrading this one again. So that's the upgrades and everything ready to go. Just before I end the episode there, we'll have a look at some of the new equipment rolling out as I get things started. So let's have a look at the new ships. Because they are very nice models, even for their age. Don't forget, folks, that on the 8th of November, very shortly, Transport Fever will be celebrating its very first birthday. And I know that myself and Bumble and Brit uh, were looking to do something a little bit extra special to celebrate, as it were, and wish the game its first year's birthday. So with the new patch, there are a few extras that are available and I'll be showing them all off in the next episode. There we go. So the trams are all off and on the way. Ready to run each line. Again, not really worried about that. Got good money in the account. And I think as soon as 1871 rolls over, I either get a new locomotive, which means a lot of updating for a lot of the trains, or I get a new road vehicle which means I can replace all of my old dilapidated rolling stock making things go a little faster and a little smoother so they're all off doing the job now there'll be no transport requests for passengers yet as it takes a while for the lines to bed themselves in let's have a look to see on his way as well with his three trams hard to see because we left them with quite a good head start And they're just delivering normal stuff. Aha, there we go. So, one, two, and where's Mr. I didn't colour my line properly. Come to think of that, there he is. No, nope, I did get him, there he's there. So all three of those guys are out as well. Well, I think we'll knock that one on the head. We're coming up to 40 minutes. I don't really have a, a time limit for the episodes anymore. I just do what I need to do and then move on with that. The line frequency between Fremont and Elk Grove will be pretty bad to start with. I put two boats on it, but I will be adding further rolling stock <laughs> or floating stock as the case may be, as and when needed. Well, all that remains for me to do is thank you all very much for watching and coming back to the channel. Everything will be getting a lot more regular from now on. I'm on a week's vacation, which is quite handy, especially as it's the 8th birthday. First birthday, sorry, on the 8th. So I'll be doing a fair bit of production and getting quite a few things out and running and getting caught up. And with 25 million in the bank, I certainly want to make some inroads and build some serious infrastructure. So we'll pause the game there, just as we're coming into April. We'll return to our little shipping hub here, just to see the first of the ships going in there. He'll turn around very shortly and off he'll go. Everything's running all right there. We'll just have a quick look at our depot here to see our main station, how that's running. That seems to be well. Cow and food's going well. Elk Grove's got good supply of fuel and bread. Fremont's doing okay for construction materials and fuel. And Reno is getting a little bit of fuel in. Once the new locomotive comes in, I'll be upgrading all of the delivery stops just to make sure that everybody gets a good fair share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye now.